I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student, grade 10 student, Shruti. Shruti, thanks a lot for sharing this question and also your comments. Well, she is looking forward for a simpler solution as the solution provided at school was too complicated. The question here is, find the vertex of parabola that passes through points minus 1, minus 11, 459, and 11 minus 11. Now I'll give you alternate methods of solving this question and uh, you may have to decide which one suits you best. So I'll make the question more complicated. We'll say find the vertex of parabola. Instead of vertex we will find equation also. So we'll say find the equation of parabola in vertex form in vertex form. So let me make this question more complicated. So we'll say find the equation of parabola in vertex form that passes through the points minus 1 minus 11, 459 and 11 minus 11. Okay. So let this be your question. So let's begin uh, by selecting different kinds of methods. Method number one, I will say is very straightforward so let me call this as method number one so what you can do is you know what is the equation of a quadratic function you know y equals to ax square plus bx plus c you are given three different points now these three different points will give you three different equations right so if you substitute the first point you'll get minus 11 here for y and if I substitute minus 1 here, I get a minus b plus c, right? And if I substitute 4 and 59, I get 59 equals to, substituting 4 here will give me 16, 4 square, 16a uh, plus 4b plus c. And substituting 11 minus 11 will give me minus 11 equals to, 11 squares 121. 121a and this will give me plus 11x uh, I'm sorry 11b right and plus c now there are three equations you can solve them simultaneously and find the solution right so that is one way of doing it now this is uh, not so easy you could subtract these two and then get rid of c it's like solving simultaneous equations. So that is one way of doing it. Well, let's go to method number two. Um, since we see that these points are actually very good points, you observe that point number one and point number two, they have same y values. Do you see that? So if you observe that, you don't have to go for uh, the first part. This is too complicated. Uh, after doing all this, you have to write in vertex form, so another page. What you notice here is y values are same. Do you see that? So at minus 1, y value is minus 11. At 11, y value is also minus 11. So that really means that, uh, and then we have a point which is 459. So that means, let me sketch a parabola first, and then I'll show you what it means. If I have a parabola kind of like this, right? Let's say that's the parabola. Then what we're trying to say here is, let's say something like this. Uh, okay, so let's say something like this. Okay. So what we are saying here is that at minus one, at minus one, let's say this is minus one, we have a point on the parabola and this point minus 11 is also at 11 so from this kind of a sketch you get an idea that your parabola has two points uh, which are separated by x minus 1 and 11 where the y values are minus 11 correct so from the symmetry from the symmetry, we know the axis should be right in the center, right? So that becomes the axis x 
and what should be the value of x add them divide by 2 that is to say minus 1 plus 11 divided by 2 do you get it so that is 10 divided by 2 or 5 so what we observe here is since we have this kind of a symmetry we observe that the axis should be at x equals to 5 so this point is at x equals to 5 but we don't know what is the value of y right so y value we don't know so we'll just keep this y value as as some value right so we don't know okay the idea is to find this value correct right so but this gives you an equation you can write equation of this curve as y equals to a times x since the axis is at 5 x minus 5 whole square plus this value maximum value right so you can say this value is let us say let us say let's say p peak okay p for p okay p so it becomes a times x minus 5 whole square plus p now to find p and a we need two points correct so we could use one of these points which is minus 1 and minus 11 so at minus 1 we get minus 11 so I get one equation as minus 11 equals to a times minus 1 minus 5 whole square plus p correct uh, and the other equation we could use the given point 459 so somewhere here we have a point which is 459 I hope you're there with me right so this is the second point we have if I substitute 59 for y I get 59 here a times 4 minus 5 whole square plus plus p right some peak value p is it okay now so we again get two equations this time so instead of solving three equations we are left with two equations this equation let me rewrite this as let me rewrite these equations here first then we'll solve them here correct or let's take them let's take them here okay we'll do that first let me just show the solution here this is minus 11 equals to minus 1 minus 5 is 6 6 squared is 36 right so we have 36 a plus b the other one is 59 4 minus 5 is minus 1 squared is 1 equals to a plus b do you see that so we got these two equations now to solve for a and p from these two equations very simple you can take away one from the other correct and then solve it correct so let's go back and solve here so let me copy these equations here for you we have minus 11 equals to 36 a plus b the maximum value and then we also have 59 equals to a plus b right so let's call them as our equation number one and equation number two so if I do equation number one minus equation number two what do I get so this minus this both becomes negative 5 plus 1 9 plus 1 is 10 and then we get 70 equals to this minus this 74 say I mean 35 a p minus p is 0 so that gives you the value of a as 70 divided by 35 which is indeed uh, I mean this is minus 70 right when you take away minus 70 that is indeed minus 2 so a is minus 2 correct now from equation 2 what is p equals to p equals to 59 minus 59 minus a which is 59 minus minus 2 and that is 59 plus 2 which is 61 and therefore now we know p and a we can write down the equation as y equals to a is minus 2 minus 2 x minus 5 whole square and p is 61 plus 61 do you get it so finally finally we get our equation so this is uh, the equation in vertex form and therefore this point p now is 61 so the coordinates is 5 61 do you see that so that's the second method 
and probably the method which you may use for this particular solution right however I'll also teach you the third method third method is is what I would like to uh, do and that is very interesting if I move the parabola by 11 units upright so what I'm trying to do now is let me show you I am moving all these points by 11 units so basically I'm moving this up by 11 units so what do I get I get this parabola do you see this I get this I get a parabola which is uh, let me take a better ink pen so we get this parabola both are parallel correct the only thing is it has been translated so in that case what happens we get these two vertices right so we are not talking about sketching or writing equation for the parabola which is which is kind of like this where these vertices now these intercepts are at minus 1 and 11 do you see that and the point given to us uh, now becomes instead of at uh, 4 and 59 it will be this point will be at this point will be at 4 and 59 plus 11 right so which is 70 is it okay 59 plus 11 so what we have done here is we have added I mean y value has been added as plus 11 do you see that so we get this curve uh, now from this curve we can get that curve so you can think about a solution which is kind of like this for our parabola is it okay so we get our equation as y equals to a times since we have these two x intercept for the red one right which is at 1 minus 1 so x plus 1 times this is at 11 right so we write x minus 11 so these are the two x intercepts and if I translate this down I get my curve down by 11 units so I do minus 11 do you see that to get my curve does it make sense to you now the beauty of this equation is we have to only solve for one variable a so do you notice here we are solving for three variables right a B and C in this case we are solving for two variables which are the two variables a and P and this method we are only solving for one variable which is a do you get my point now since we translated it down we are again working with the same set of points which are given to us and we can use this point to find the value of a so we'll just replace x and y values with 4 and 59 so we have 59 equals to a times 4 plus 1 times 4 minus 11 minus 11 do you get the beauty right bringing it here we got 59 plus 11 equals to a times 5 times uh, 4 minus 11 is minus 7 right so we have 70 equals to a times 35 with a negative sign minus 7 so a equals to 70 over minus 35 that is indeed minus 2 so we get our equation as y equals to minus 2 x plus 1 times x minus 11 minus 11 now you can always expand and do your work right do you get it but once you get this point you get the vertex also right so so that is the last way of doing this in any case from all these whichever method you adopt we know what is the vertex so vertex is best from this form vertex is at 5 and the maximum value is 61 you can find the vertex here also midway between these two just as we did here x equals to 5 when I substitute 5 here, what do you get? y equals to minus 2, 5 plus 1, 5 minus 11, minus 11. And that gives you a value of minus 2. 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 minus 11 is also 6, minus 11. And that will also give you 61 as your answer. So we get the vertex again, 61. So Shruti, I think...
these three methods will help you to understand how to solve such questions. Since these points were very special, same y values, we could do the method 2 and 3. Method 2 and 3 can not always be applied. If these points are very different, we have to adopt method 1. So depending on the situation, you can use different methods and solve such questions. I hope that helps you to understand the concept and deal with any complicated question. Thanks for watching and all the best. Uh, let me move this page a bit so that you can see very clearly what we wrote as some things are not visible. So I hope that makes a difference. You're able to see the complete solution. All the best and feel free to share your views and questions.